Oh, wow. Hello, people of interwebs. Today I'm gonna do something way above my ability level, as you can tell by the title of the video. I don't know why I'm pointing up, because there's no title over there. There is a link to the last video I did about something, though, that will get you caught up on life if you're new. An unfortunate flaw that my MR2 has oddly in one location is this part of the rear quarter panel on the driver's side, if you can see it, has little dimples, like six or seven little dings. Just right here. There's really none back here on this back half. And oddly enough, there's not really any anywhere else in the car. It's pretty much just that one spot has dings. There might be like one or two on the other side of the car and that's about it. Anyway, over here on the casting couch, which will soon not exist anymore, I'll talk about that later, is a paintless dent repair kit that I bought off Amazon. It's pretty cheap and it uh, looks like it was made in China. And it says to email me anytime, 247365, main lord. This guy had a lot of good reviews on Amazon for being a cheap paintless dent repair kit. And uh, I'm gonna crack it open and practice on the focus. Cause I'm not gonna mess up this car. I'll mess up the rally car cause it doesn't matter if I screw that thing up. Then eventually I'll work on the MR2. Hello. All right, got the focus in here to practice on. This thing's got more dents than a hotel mattress. Dent, 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 turd. Oh, look, it came with glue sticks? I don't know why they give you licorice and plain flavor, but this little guy, spready. Uh, these are the things you stick to the car with the glue sticks. These are, these look like the little Teflon or plastic tools that you tap around the shock wave of the ding with. I actually have somewhat of a clue of what I'm doing. I've watched people do paintless hair and pair more times than I can count now. And uh, a hammer. More little things that you glue and you stick these to the car and then you can pop them out. And an instruction manual. If only this was all you needed to learn how to do paintless dent repair. Just a quick little booklet. Clean the dent part with a clean cloth. The kit does not come with a hot glue gun, just so you know, so you have to have your own. And also the lines you see on the left side of the screen are for my LED light shining on the surface so I can see the dents better. So since most of the dents I'm gonna be starting out on are tiny, I'm gonna grab one of these little tiny ones right here and I'll start with the smallest. Hot glue gun kinda sucks. All right, got some hot glue on there. And mush it down. Now I just gotta kinda hold it in place, nice and firm like, and then let it dry for a couple minutes. So there's various methods on how to do this paintless dent repair. This is the glue pull method. There's also the method you use the rods where you actually drill a hole or you find an access point and you get behind panels and then the rods allow you to massage the dent from the rear. Now on areas you don't have the option to do that, that's where these come in. Keep in mind, this is not meant to be a tutorial. I am not a professional, but I did watch a professional remove dents on my Audi TT in this garage for like four hours and he gave me a lot of pointers and tips on how the process is. So I'm simply regurgitating back to you what I have learned, and in this video, I'm going to half-ass attempt to do it myself. That kinda sorta worked. I think the issue with this one is whatever caused that dent way back when was caused by like a rock or a piece of metal because there's actually a little bit of paint missing in the center of it. So it's got a really weird deep indentation. It's probably not gonna come out with PDR unless you like massaged it from the back, but either way there's paint missing. There's a reason why paintless dent repair technicians have hundreds of hours of practice before they go into business doing this for a living because this is like learning how to play a musical instrument. It just doesn't happen with an instant. You can't buy a kit on Amazon and expect to be a professional. Next one I wanna to try to work on is right here. You can see it's kind of a long dent, like a, it looks like a door, actually, edge of a door that hit it. Let's see what I can do with this guy. I think it's really important when you're doing something like this to manage your expectations 
And especially if you're paying a PDR technician to do work on your car, understand it's not like a miracle cure all for dents. Like there are some dents that just are not going to come out no matter what. And if you buy a cheap kit like this, you should manage your expectations even more because this glue that came with it absolutely sucks. All right. Here it goes. Ooh, that was a satisfying pull. And the glue came off with it too. Wow, that actually worked. Check that out. That is right where the dent was, right there. And you can see there's like a faint little deviation and I think that's actually outward now that I gotta tap down with those little dowel rods. That's not too bad for my third time sticking hot glue on this car and I have no proper training whatsoever really. There's a couple different types of dents I've noticed on here. You have the ones that are on a flat surface that are a lot easier to pull. You just kind of attach the glue here and pull it upward and then you might get left with something that kind of has an upward pimple and then you just take your little hammer and you tap it down right here until it's flat. Only problem with doing this though is I've noticed most of these dents aren't on perfectly flat surfaces. A lot of them are on kind of curved areas like my TT was, which was even worse because I had bubbly areas, but the dent dude did teach me a trick. A lot of times on the surface of cars, especially in rounded areas, you get dents that kind of have an effect like a crater on a meteorite strike. So what happens is it gets dented inward here, but the metal gets kind of forced outward right here on the edges. So what you need to do to fix areas like this is you pull outward on the dent right here or tap it from the rear, however you have access. And then what you're gonna do is tap down the outer edges. And what that kind of does is it puts tension back in the center and makes the metal more rigid. Hi, it's the next day. You guys notice the garage is getting emptier and emptier on this back wall. And like I said earlier in the video, I would explain that in a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is up on the screen right now, you're gonna see a poll pop up. What I want from you guys is to vote would you like to see maybe one or two videos of what I'm doing in here with my complete garage overhaul? If anything, at the minimum, I do have a new tool chest coming and I will at least do a video on that since it's gonna be a sponsored item. But if you don't wanna see the rest of it, I'll just focus on car stuff and you'll just see the background change. Let me know below in that poll or above or wherever the hell it is, okay? I've needed to do this for over six months now. And my hair kind of looks like a coconut. That's why I don't ever wear my hair up. I look like a coconut. It's whatever. Coconuts are yummy. I must consult the penguins. Do you approve of me washing this car right now for absolutely almost no reason? Okay, it shall be washed. The penguins have spoken. It shall be washed. It just looks like a turd covered in bird poop and gunk sitting in the driveway. So I'm gonna make it clean, okay? That's after five minutes of this stuff sitting on there. Shit's thick. That's what I'm talking about. I got a clean focus now. Here, let me get it in focus for you. Get it? It's a focus joke. It's weird, on camera it actually looks like it has a nice paint job. Don't let that fool you, the paint on this thing is destroyed. Looking down the side of this car though, after spending about an hour on it doing paintless dent repair, I mean, it's uh, definitely not perfect, but there was way more dents visible dents on this car than there is now. There's still some on here that I can't get no matter what. It's like someone just jabbed this door with a pen or something. It's really weird, it's a pinpoint dent. But the big ones that were down here, you can see from this angle, they're not super noticeable anymore. There's still one super gnarly one right here on the front bumper that I have yet 
to try to get out. And that one I have access to from behind as well. So he said, we're gonna try that real quick and see what I can do. Uh, something is telling me that I probably should not use this glue pull method on this area. It's probably not the best way of doing it, but that's the beauty of practicing on a car. You don't care if you screw up, right? So let's see what happens. Oh, come on. Oh, all right. This glue works a lot better. The black glue that it came with. See what that did? Hell yeah, dude. Oh, wow. That already made such a difference. I need to clean all this residue off and see if I can get this scraper scuff out of the way so you can see it. But dude, this is fun. I would not do this on the MR2. I'm not confident in my abilities just yet, but on something like this, it's kind of fun. All right, time lapse. I'm gonna go do a bunch more dents. Failed. I didn't get that dent out of the front fender. It's better, but it's not out. If you look right here along the body line, you can see there's a dent right on this ridge. And I tried pushing it out from the rear and I failed because I was not using the correct tool. Final verdict on my Amazon paintless dent repair kit. It's not the kit that makes the difference, it's the skill that goes behind it. I think if you gave a pro that went to school for a paintless dent repair this kit, they'd probably be able to do a little better, a lot better than what I did. But this goes to show if you're buying a kit for like 30 bucks off Amazon, expecting to repair a big nasty dent on a car that's worth a lot of money, just pay a professional to do it and save yourself the time and hassle because this takes a lot of practice to master. All right, now that that's over with, I, uh, I have something under here I'm gonna try to take a look at and this is gonna be going into the next video. I don't have any headlights on the Focus right now because these are Euro spec headlights that are on the car and in this box somewhere is package right here that I ordered it says Audi Volkswagen connector, except this isn't for an Audi or Volkswagen. What this is, is this right here is a set of headlight harnesses with all the little pins so I can build my own harness that plugs into these Eurospec headlights from my USDM Focus SVT headlight harness. I'm not going to do this in this video because I got to map out my wiring, but I just want to let you guys know this is going to be happening in the next video on the focus as well as this huge box right here that's been sitting behind my front door. Oh my God, this is heavy. <sighs> that huge box right there are massive sheets of H3DPO 9000 XB12. Niner plastic stuff. I forgot what it's called. It's like 3 8 inch plastic sheets. The high durability stuff. I'm going to be using it on the underbelly of the Focus, all up underneath here, with the exception of the center where the exhaust pipe is routed, just up to where the front axle is before the engine. And it'll act as a giant skid plate slash flat floor for the car. So, next video, I'm going to start fabricating that up and uh, the engine will get covered underneath there with steel and aluminum. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this weird video and uh, let me know below. Do you wanna see some garage content? Cause I'm down if you guys are. I'll see you soon with another video. Bye.